honestly on the day of filming there's like so much mess okay i'm about to head out because i really wanted to do this thing where i want to test and try out all the primark lip liners that exist basically so i'm going to primark today i'm super excited it's sunday it's a sunny day i'm all yellow and white and i'm loving the summer vibes and it's still a little chilly so which is why i have this heavy coat on me because as soon as it gets a little chilly my nose starts running it's just yeah i have allergies and stuff so the windy it gets the nosier it gets you know all right so let's head out i'll show you guys my outfit now because i know you guys are nosy <laughs> kidding you guys are lovely <laughs> after that i'm gonna go straight to primark so yeah let's go there okay you're gonna get all the primark lip liners that exist i hope they have the whole color range you know sometimes maybe they don't have stock or whatever i just don't want their problem today because today is filming day and i really want this video to be done and you guys if you enjoy these kinds of vlogs and videos let me know if you want me to do like more challenges or anything you want me to try out i'm gonna do that okay this was requested by my follower on instagram thank you so much because she said why don't you just try primark makeup and i was like okay i don't think i'm gonna try cheap makeup because you know i'm a little paranoid when it comes to what i put on my skin but lip liners is something i can easily get away with you know so let's go and see what they have okay let me show you guys my outfit i talk too much also if you want to see how i create this beautiful little hairstyle then the tutorial video is already on my channel so make sure you to watch that <laughs> beautiful hair today by the way this jacket this coat is from a river island and i feel like it needs a little alteration because it's a little loose and too big for me do you see that it's it's too big even if i close the buttons here it's still oops loose clothes are way better than tight clothes let me tell you that much so i'm wearing a very chanel like skirt under this beautiful yellow bright summer vibe top which i just got yesterday from zara and i'm obsessed with it i actually worn this now for two of my youtube videos you'll see me wearing this basically it's just so cute you know like <laughs> Okay, it doesn't have that much of a fluff. You get the point. My makeup today though, I'm just kind of liking this. Uh, no full coverage, just a relaxed kind of makeup, but lots of lashes, you know? Guess where the lashes were from? Primark too. They have the best lashes ever. They have amazing lashes. This is the look for the day. I never leave home without showing you guys. And thank you for subscribing. If you haven't done already, please do so. Where's my hand? Oh, there. Please do so. <laughs> these very chanel like shoes which i got from suffrages actually at dune anything with white a little bit of cashmere touch to the material and gold buttons it already belongs to me if you see anything like this send it to my side thank you very much this top i just got this yesterday i actually saw this at zara and i'm like oh my god this belongs to me come to mama come to mama uh, it's just cute however what is this i have to cut this thing I hate when shirts have this, you know. I mean, I know they serve a purpose, but I never really need them anyway. Okay, I'm gonna cut this right after this clip. This is the outfit of the day. I really wanted some white shoe, but I had no white shoe. You know, I do have my white Louboutins, which I'm actually selling on Depop. If you wanna have a look, maybe you can have those because they are just like one size too big for me. And they're also so high. I never really wear them. I've worn them only like two or three times and now it's time to get rid of them. Make space and get more things that I can actually use and wear. I don't know if the shoes really match, but you know what, at this point, I don't even care. The good thing is I do have a matching bag, so we're good to go. I look more like, I don't know, more than a relaxed Sunday. This looks more like I'm going to an office or something. Like a serious businesswoman, you know? Which I kind of am, but not today. Today is Sunday. Today I'm just a girl. Just a girl in London trying to explore and doing a Primark lip liner challenge. <laughs> Let's go. This train is ready to depart. It's so packed out here and I'm almost there. And we're closing in 30 minutes by the way. <laughs> I gotta rush. Alright, here I am at the lip liner section. All I see is just a few shades really. So one obviously is gonna be this one here. I think it's called lava. Then I see another one which is salsa 
both of which are kind of like red uh, here dessert sand uh, is that the same scarlet then we've got foxy nude right here then we have a velvet touch oh my god they're so similar somehow but they're different we have rumor anything i've missed out is it sand here we have scarlet rumor scarlet i think i have them pretty much i have all of them now i just don't see any pinks in here you know aren't we supposed to have like a pink color as well okay, look at this slip color kind of like a gloss but it's a little tacky i don't like this color no it looks good on me anyway and this thing here reminds me of the kylie lip kits when she came out with them you know I think they're copying literally every other brand here which is good for the price why not i'm also gonna grab my favorite set of uh, french nails i also have them on right now which is the same ones which is the french ones but the round ones yeah. these are round but i want the square ones they were always out of stock every time i came in here i just found one here so i'm getting one only because we only have one pretty much done with the lip liners guys let's head home no i'm not gonna head home now i'm gonna go and enjoy the weather but when i go home i'm gonna try them on show you guys and we're also gonna do a giveaway because obviously i'm not keeping all these lip liners i only like rock with two lip colors anyway so i'm gonna give them away anyway also it's kind of getting hot in here <laughs> so i kind of got a little thirsty and i thought elon is very near to me so let me just have like a nice smoothie or something looking at this makes me hungry oh my god look at all of this let's quickly eat something we actually have some avocado on toast and some salmon in there i think they tried to make a rose out of the salmon look at that it's so cute this is what I love about Elan. They always come up with the creative, most beautiful presentation. Really, really satisfying to my creative, colorful soul. Absolutely amazing today. We had a beautiful sunshine. Ignore all the mess at the back. I challenge you to do so. I know you can do that for me. Let me just remove my lipstick because I've had red lipstick on today all day long. I already got all the lip liners. Let me show you guys. Where are they though? Where are they? Oh my God, I ordered some food in the middle of the night. Crappiest thing one can do. When is it coming? Okay, I have enough time. Here they are. We have all the colors. I left out one color because it was way lighter than my own skin tone. So it didn't really make sense for me to even try that. Now I did read the shade because I wanted to tell you guys what shade I'd left out. But now I forgot the name of the shade. That's the story of my life. I have really bad memory, by the way, with small little things. I don't remember anything. I'm sorry. These are like one, two, three, four. We have eight lip liners here, right? No, seven. I'm gonna tell you the name of the shade and we're gonna try them on, which is why I'm removing my lipstick right now. By the way, did I tell you guys also in the beginning of the video, actually two days ago, I already got some cold sores. Oh my God, it kind of hurts. It's right around the lip area. So we're gonna try not touch this area too much for the lip liners. I still want you guys to see the real colors of the lip liners, each one of them. Looking into the camera makes me realize I really need to clean up the vanity area right behind me because it looks so messy and I hate it like this. Some chili milly to make me happy. We're gonna start with this one because it really pops out. I really love this. It looks beautiful. It's called Lava. Let me put the rest of them right here over my chili milly. We're trying on Lava first. By the way, these lip liners are literally one pound each. They better be good quality and very pigmented. Let's try. Ooh, one swipe and you see a lot of color. So they are pigmented, guys. They are pigmented. Like people are right when they say primer makeup is good because I see it now. It's creamy as well. I feel like I can use this as a lipstick too. Like just fill my lips with that, you know. Look at this, look at this. Oh, this is amazing. I'm so happy with this color. This is such a nice color. 
By the way, any of these lip liners, I'm gonna try just on its own without any lipstick. We're just gonna try and fill the lips with the same color, just so you get a better idea of the whole pigmentation and the color and whether I like them or not. And by the way, keep watching till the end of this video because we are doing a little giveaway. I'm giving away all of these eyeliners, sorry, lip liners. We're giving away all of these lip liners. Lip liners? Yes, that's what they are. We're gonna give away all of these lip liners to one winner. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna shove them and disinfect them before I send it off to you. Oh, you wanna know how to take part? All you have to do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and now comment below whichever color was your favorite color, starting from lava. Let's move on to the next. Let's remove this. I've had my makeup on all day long. I need to wash it off. Look at this. I think my lips are ready for the next color. Next shade we have here is called Foxy Nude. It honestly gave me vibes of Velvet Teddy from MAC, so I kind of had to get this one. Let's go. Uh, okay. This is one of those colors that for anybody with my skin tone, it's gonna make you look dead. Until and unless you use this as like a darker lip color. I don't think I'm a fan of this color on its own. I don't know guys, I really don't know. What do you think of this color? I'm not sure. Of course it's gonna look really nice on somebody who is a little darker than me or way more lighter than me. Does that make sense? I'm like somewhere in the middle. Doesn't look good on me for sure. It just. However, is the product nice itself? 100% like the price. For the price, like one pound? Are you serious? I'm literally tempted to wipe off all my makeup now. Just do like this in one go. So liberating. It's sometimes the process of applying makeup for me is just no fun, you know? But removing makeup? Love it. Love it. Doing some skincare. I feel like nighttime skincare routine is like the best thing you can do for yourself every single day. Next velvet touch again i don't know why all of these colors somehow are giving me velvet teddy mac vibes Ooh, nice please be nice oh it looks nice it looks already very nice Ooh. i think i'm gonna keep this one Oh my god, this is so similar to the signature colors that I use. For example, I use Huda Beauty Icon all the time. That's like one of my signature colors. I also use Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Medium. That's my signature color too. I also use Brownie by Bobbi Brown a lot. That's like, again, my signature color because these are very similar in the warmth of the color. Does that make sense? And this one is very, very similar. This is one of those colors that suit my kind of skin tone, which is kind of between fair and medium. A little bit of olive tone touch to it. Oh my God, I love this color. This is my color palette, guys, I'm so sorry. I am not giving away eight lip liners. I'm giving away only seven. Oh no, we only bought seven. I'm giving away only six. I'm keeping this one, I'm so sorry. I'm keeping this one. Goes right in here with the rest of my lip liners. This color, very nice. Are you guys ready for the next one? It's called Desert Sand. For some reason, it reminds me of Huda Beauty. She has a palette called Desert Dust, Dust, yeah? Something like that. I have the palette too, I just can't remember the name. It's a little dark, it's a little, I don't know. Let's try it on. Even though it's darker than any of the ones we've used so far, but the color is not coming through. It's just, you know. It's a nice color, I can tell. It's just not as intense. How is that possible? They are the same brand, the same formula, the same lip liners, and yet this color is not even that intense, even though it's a nice color itself. This is one of those lip liners you have to keep sharpening, 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 you know? If this was intense enough, I would have kept this one too, let's be honest. I'm getting a little greedy here. <laughs> nice. I think it's all right. Mm. Nice. I think maybe after a few applications, it could get a bit more smoother and glide on a bit more smoothly. Today it was a little dry-ish and didn't really apply too nicely and as intense and as creamy as the other ones, but really nice color. It's like a typical brown color. Next. Scarlet. It reminds me of the actress now, Scarlet. She's the sexiest woman alive, as they say. 
I don't really believe them because it should be me. Just kidding. Some people actually really take offense to the things that I say. Sometimes I joke, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, I do joke a lot. You just have to be a bit smart to catch up on that. Literally just the other day, I put up this story saying that I love using Instagram filters because they make you look, like on days when you don't have much makeup and you're not as glamorous, filters make you look very grown, womanly, ladylike, you know, somebody that can be taken seriously. That's what I feel about Instagram filters. Without that filter, I was going to the gym and I was like, oh my God, without a filter, I just look a little too childlike, you know, because I have those childlike vibes, let's be honest. So I just can't be taken seriously, you know. So when I have a filter on, I, I think I can take myself more seriously, you know. So I just kind of mentioned that and everybody, oh my God, everybody, even the ones that have been following me for years, but I've never even seen any single of their comments or anything ever. Now, all of a sudden they commented. Oh, you don't look that young. Oh, relax. Duh. Oh, what did I actually say? I also actually said that, yeah, when I don't have a filter on and I'm going to the gym, literally, I look so young. I probably look like 23, 24. And oh my god, all the little girls that had little complexes had to come out of their shells and say to me, you look nowhere near 23, 24. And somebody was literally kind of having, trying to have like a debate with me, but then I checked out. So trying to have a debate with me, good luck to you because it's never going to work out because I kind of just leave the field. Like you can just talk to yourself all day you want. I, I really don't care. I don't go on social media to debate with strange people that I don't even know. To me, it doesn't make sense. And why is a girl's age such a thing for some people? I don't understand. If I post right now, oh my God, I look so old. I look like a flippin' 50. I think people will be really happy. You know why? Because it satisfies their ego. I'm not here to satisfy your ego <laughs> and talk shit about myself. I am flippin' fabulous and I'm amazing and I'm awesome. And so are you. Please believe that about yourself too, okay? I want everybody to believe that about themselves, but without having to put anybody down or under somebody else. Don't put yourself down, don't put yourself under anybody else, but also don't put others under anybody else or yourself either. Does that make sense? That's how you should live life. Now get your shit together and do not comment again on my social media when you have stuff to say which is just useless because it shows you have literally no brain cells. Goodness sake. Like, I value intelligence. If you're not intelligent emotionally or mentally, what are you doing on my social media? Oh my god. Like, the lip liners that I'm using right now seem to be a lot more intelligent than you at this point. You know? Okay, wonderful color. I went deep in with this color. A little bit of a rant with this color was worth it. Very fiery color. Very nice. My lips are still a little swollen, I told you guys. Please check out my previous videos so you know what's going on, okay? My lips are a little swollen, so don't be commenting stuff like this. It's useless. I'll appreciate that, thank you. The color's name was Scarlet. <laughs> as sexy as Scarlet herself. Nice. Oh, next we have this beautiful bombshell. It's actually called bombshell. Now, this reminds me of Victoria's Secret bombshell perfume. <laughs> I mean, they have selected the names really carefully. This actually does look like Victoria's Secret bombshell kind of a color, like a Barbie pink. Like whoever did that, I think with the names, they have actually given it thought, you know? I appreciate Primark for this. Let's use bombshell now. Oh God, no, this is not my tone of color. Look at the pigmentation, oh my God. Are you kidding me? It's all this application, my lips are dying asking for help. I'm gonna use a lip scrub after this. This is my lip scrub. You all need to check out our lip scrubs from Isha Cosmetics. They are the bomb, literally. Every time I start using them regularly again, I always think, oh my god, why did I stop using it in the first place? Because they're so amazing. Pump your lips and they also make them quite pink, naturally, you know? Lovely color, but I think this is one of those colors that would look really nice if you are like a lot more fair skin color or a bit more pale, you know? Very nice color itself, very nice pigment. It's just not for my skin tone. Oh, sadly, can't make it work. 
even if I want to. Oh, my phone. I just got a notification. Oh my God, my food is coming, bye. Okay, no, he's seeing another 10 minutes. We could try our next lip liner in the next 10 minutes. The next one is salsa. That reminds me of dancing now, okay. Even though I don't, I've never done salsa. I don't know how to do that. It sounds really fancy, looks fancy too. I just don't know how to do it. My lips, they're dying. I think I'm gonna give my lips a break for the next two days, not put anything on them. <laughs> salsa, here I come. Please be nice. Oh, okay, so also it's coming through, very nice color. At this point, I have forgotten the shape of my own lip now, honestly. We just have to focus on the color, not on the shape of my lips anyway, so. Oh, why am I showing this? It's not even sponsored, oh, please. Okay, that's a nice color. A little more matte and little, uh, yeah, very dry-ish. That's my color, honey, that's my color. I'm very tempted to keep this one too, but I'm not gonna. I actually like very cold red colors with enough blue undertone because that looks really good on my skin tone like it just makes my skin look very buttery and really clean and neat and nice this is a bit more on the warmer side why have we been buying mac cosmetics lip liners for why for what look at this i think i should keep this one rather than the other one i don't even remember which one that was Okay, whatever. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just buy another one of these if I still remember the shade. What shade was it? Hold on. I think I'm gonna remember salsa. Salsa dancing, salsa, salsa, salsa. I remember that, okay. Um, nice. See how pretty this color makes me look like? You know what I'm saying? Very flattering, you know? Oh my God. Guys, this was it for the lip liner challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> trying I hope you guys enjoyed me trying on all of these lip liners. I loved doing this little activity. It made me want to run out of the house, get all these lip liners, come back home and record this for you guys, you know? So I had a lot of fun doing this. Don't forget, you get all of these. Okay, I'm not gonna keep any, I was just joking. I might just go and buy two colors that I really liked, which is Salsa and the other one, which is, I think, Velvet Touch. Very nice. Salsa and Velvet Touch are like my favorites. Um, but anyway, all you have to do to take part is follow this channel, give this video a thumbs up. It also obviously helps me reach out to more people. So help a sister out and comment below. Tell me what city you're from, but you have to really tell me what is your favorite shade? Which one did you like the most? That's what you have to do. So three steps to be entered into the giveaway and I'll just pick somebody randomly in the comment section next week. I will obviously give more details in the comment section below. So keep an eye out there. Thank you guys for watching me. Until my next video, take care of yourself, take care of your well-being and take care of your lips because they are a very important feature on your face. Until my next video, bye. Shit, my food actually is here. I don't want to miss it. Oh my God. I'm coming, hold on. I'm coming. Ooh, everything is leaking. What's that? Hello, you little monkey. <laughs> this always comes in handy. Look at me starting to eat junk. But this is what we do on the weekends. We allow ourselves to do whatever and we Netflix and chill. This is like my version of Netflix and chill. So now I'm gonna spend at least two hours searching on Netflix what to watch on Netflix. Can anybody relate? If you can, thank you for watching my little messy <laughs> situation. Oops. Ugh, why did that have to happen? I'm kind of a little paranoid to eat those chips from this little bag. Yeah, see, they probably have touched the deep flat too. And, oh, oh my god, guys, good night and have a lovely weekend. Ooh.